Hey guys, Fool here. Welcome to another Elder Scrolls Legends video. I have searched for some warrior deck list over the last couple of days and I found an aggressive, an aggressive warrior deck made by uh, Turquoise Link. I hope the name is right. And he was able to snatch the number one spot on the legend ladder with the deck. So it is quite a decent deck as it's very aggressive. I have changed one card, dropped uh, Lumbering Orgrim, so there are only two in the deck list. Um, and pushed in the reef or rife rather uh, let's see we are up against the mage potentially would be a control mage would be an action mage start with the sorcerer here execute getting rid of it right away nicely done Now let's play the crocodile. Healing damage onto the crocodile, so that's a 3-2. There comes a firebolt, so just killing the creatures we drop here. And another haunting spirit. We could use uh Lightning bolt here to take up the haunting spirit with the extra magicka. So then the effect is gone and we're not getting the 3 3. Well, that's not the case. So we can, we can just drop another haunting spirit here. Let him for 3. Don't want to use the rapid shot right there. Be on your guard. Gotcha. Okay, so he's taken out. Oh, he's not taken out. That's interesting. But uh, we have the rapid shot, so we can take out the Camelon Sentinel. Oh, we just dropped the Orclan Captain. Let's see. Another card draw would be nice. But we don't need to with the Orclan Captain. So it's also possible to now just use the Rapid Shot on the Elusive. We are getting cards with the Jarl next turn. So maybe we can... Uh, yeah, let's push the Rapid Shot here. And 4 into his face. Who is that 28? Best card for him would be an Ice Storm. So that is only the Fire Storm. And that's why he's pushing the Haunting Spirit here. Can't kill it at the moment. So we can push 6 damage and drop the Jarl. Oh, oh we can't. <laughs> Another healing potion there. So down to 27. Let's just drop the Dragon Tail Savior the here. The odds, the the Burn it all to the ground. Okay, Pillaging Tribune. And he's getting another Pillaging Tribune into the hand. So we might want to take that out. We can't drop the Pillaging Tribune and get a life back. We are increasing the stats of the Dragon Tail Savior. So that's a uh, 5-6 now. We're hitting him for 5. And let's drop the Jarl on the right. Drawing two cards. Sorcerer. And the Haunting Spirit. So let's also drop the Sorcerer here. Magnus, God of Sorcery, be with me! Four cards it is not much for a control deck. Though so he might be in trouble. Getting a few more cards when we hit him next turn heavily. Uh, 
Damn it. It's the best card you could get there. Ride them down. Oh, prophecy. Might be the piercing javelin. Taking out the tree of John or the lightning bolt. That is also decent enough. The one lightning bolt is gone. Well, then let's drop the haunting spirit. Apparently he don't have the right destruction in hand, otherwise his play would be a bit faster now. Another lightning bolt would just hit the haunting spirit here without any other thought. So Camelon Sentinel. Another creature, a little Tribune. Okay. It's not helping him much. So we could drop the priest and the Orgrim and hit him for another three, so we would be down to 15. You must be cleansed. If he's killing the Haunting Spirit, he's increasing one of the other two creatures. So it could be enough. I would assume that he has some sort of destruction in hand, but maybe not enough to kill both minions here, alongside the Haunting Spirit. Uh, getting another pillaging to boon, that is definitely helping him. So he's getting 7 life back then, if he's playing the pillaging to boon now. Burn it all to the ground. We're gonna do it. That also means that he is um, giving up another card. So we have. 14 damage on the right. He's not gonna attack here. He's wasting the 2 drain damage, so he's not gonna do it. So that's 20. We have 14 damage. We have the crushing blow. We have the sorcerer. Mother of mud. So down to 6. Play the sorcerer here. Sorcery. Be with me. You only need six more damage. Uh, three more damage, sorry. Crushing below a three. That's a Manticora. We can silence that. So we lose the game. A formidable display. You must be cleansed. Game 2 brings us an assassin. That's another aggressive deck, most likely. So, going second, Windkeep Spell Thoughts, the Steel Scimitar, and the Field of Northlander. That looks decent enough. Let's keep that. So, gonna start aggressive and drop the Windkeep Spell Thought. Shall we begin? Crystal Tower Crafter you have there. Okay. So we are I'll gonna hit him here for two, then let's drop the Fields Northlander. I'll take the vanguard. You shouldn't be able to take the Northlander out. 
And then we have the Steel Scimitar, so if the Crystal Tower Crafter is increasing in stats, we are still able to take him out. Or rather her, right? That's the her. Of course, you want to hit him in the face as much as possible, but key cards um, need to be killed. Otherwise, you're running in trouble. And what you got there, House King's man, is not increasing the Crystal Tower Crafter. That is wonderful. Well, that means we can kill her, increasing the stats to 4 3. Then let's use the Steel Scimitar here on the left. Let's take out the House King's man. Getting an enchanted plate, so we can use that on the right. Drawing another card, Haunting Spirit. It looks like a fine situation here. He's killing the 4-4 four four with the Lightning Bolt. We still have a 4-6 on the board. And we can't, he can't kill everything. So a war bad it is. War bad it is. We can take that out. Without a problem. Hit him here for 4. Down to 27. We are taking out the robot. And let's drop the Haunting Spirit. Then next turn, filling our hand with the Jarl. Hello, robot. You're pretty greedy. Oh, that's four. That's another three. Uh, we could drop the priest here. So the priest is either going on the warbat, crystal tower crafter, or the hex mage. I don't want to give him any life. So let's play the priest you on the warbat. Still can play the Jarl next turn. Because he will only deal 4 damage going down to 21 and he's at 20. Looking to make a purchase. Ooh, Petla. So that's a lot of stuff there on the left. But still, we have enough here on the right. So let's attack further. That's another 4. He's down to 12. No prophecy there. He's down to uh, 9. Again, no prophecy. Let's see. He has... That's 9. That's the 11 damage on the left. We'll drop the Orgrim here on the right. And play the Dragon Tail Savior on the left. The and we're taking out the Ungulum here with the Rapid Shot. So even if he's going to hit the face, he's not pushing enough damage. He needs to kill the 6 3 here, and he needs to kill something on the right. Probably the Ogrim. That's 2 damage, we're getting the Lucian Lachains. Still missing 10 damage here. So how will you do that? Highly unlikely that he can win that. He can use the House Kinsman to take out the Dragon Tail Savior. Ah, just going for the face. Okay. So we're down to 14, he's at 12. He has 5 Magicka left. Brother Assassin. 
Drawing a card, four magicka left. Shadow shift. So you want to take out the Ogrim, I guess. Three magicka left. RP, that one is good. So that will help him. And shadow shifting the harpy on the other side so we can draw another card. See, we have an Auckland captain. That is nine. We are missing three damage currently because of the harpy. That was helpful for him. Getting crocodile. Well, there's not enough to take out the Haunting Spirit. We still have currently 7 damage on the board. We stand united. Mother of Mud. Okay, let's break the last rune. He's down to three. We are dropping the crocodile. Let's use it on the haunting spirit. And see if we can push enough damage. Double lightning bolt is enough here. We know. He's going for the face. Oh, that's interesting. There's a burn and pillage. Hands off my Down to seven. So a crushing blow and a lightning bolt. All that and a crushing blow. Oh, there you go. Well done. And another game. This time we are facing a spell thought. Going second. Uh, start with the young mammoth here. Hopefully finding some two drops. That's not the case. I mean we don't run. We don't run that many two drops, right? Virtually no one. So he isn't dropping anything here. Interesting. So let's start with the young mammoth. Uh, possible that he is playing a control deck. The waters of life. Yep, that's the ramp spell thought. We need to hurry a bit. If he's dropping the his grove, the game will be over. Here's the javelin, taking out the Ogrim. Another fall into his face. Drop the haunting spirit here. And also the wind keeps help out. Gonna kill, gonna kill. No oh, hive defender. And the enchanted plate. Might be using the priest here. Otherwise we are wasting too much resources just for the hive defender. You must be cleansed. So he is getting hurt a lot. He's down to 13. There comes a prophecy. So what do you get there? Another piercing javelin. He's taken out the young mammoth because of the breakthrough. That's a bit stronger than the priest. Sounding spirit. 
Getting wrecked. Might have another piercing javelin to take out the 7 7 here. Okay, Shadowfin Priest. So still, that's 6 damage we can push. And that's a bit more with the Orclan Captain. He is down to five. Let's use the enchanted plate here on the Orclan Captain, drawing another card. Ah, we could have used that. That would be two damage extra. Well, it's too late now. I would protect. Oh, the preserve of the root. That is decent. Can't come behind that. Healing hands. Let's drop the jar. Let's draw more cards. Blood Dragon. Haunting Spirit. Just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Gonna clear that Windkeep Spell Thought. Restless Templar, that gives him life back. The waters of life. And another Tree Minder. By beard, this day will be mine. So can't kill him right now. But we are getting there. Sure, let's play the Lucian here. So the Jar is getting buffed. Also dropping the Haunting Spirit. Play the Healing Hands on the Jarl. So it is a 7-7 now. If the Templar is getting killed, getting 5 life back, so we will be at 10. You must be cleansed. And he won't, he won't attack here. Wow, even more guards. Your reckoning is at hand. I'm dropping the blood dragon. We're dropping the blade master. That is five. The blade master will deal another two plus two. We have the weapon. We have the crushing blow. Could be enough. But let's wait and see if he has a Manticore, for example, that could change the outcome. Okay, you're buffing the Lucian. Comes a Blood Magic Lord, no Manticora. So, what are you getting out of the Blood Magic Lord? Brain life. Okay. Can't kill us here. So and that is more than enough. He has no rune left. Pain and ecstasy. So we're just hitting the phase and win. 